Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be adding a new outlet to an existing outlet. This is the existing outlet. It is live and I will add a very similar outlet at this location. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete this project. Subscribe to my channel for more similar DIY videos. Let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. Safety first. I will use my client tools touchless voltage tester to make sure that the power is off. Power is on right now. I will turn off power from the circuit breaker and then remove the cover plate. Power is off. I will check one more time to make sure that it is safe to work on this wiring. I can now remove the cover plate. Check one more time that the power is really off. No power on this side. No power on this side. I will now remove these two screws and pull out this outlet. I normally use my Black & Decker cordless screwdriver. It is a handy tool and it has a built-in light. We have a black wire which brings in power connected to one of these two brass screws. On the other side, we have the white neutral wire which is connected to one of these two silver screws. The bare copper ground wire is connected to the green screw here. I will now go ahead and remove these wires. I will make these wires straight. These are my existing wires. Bare copper ground wire, white neutral and black wire which is lined in. This small piece of black tape indicates that this black wire is bringing in the power. Next, I will pull a 14 gauge wire from this outlet box to this outlet box. This video is not about how the wires are actually drawn through wall studs. My focus is basically on wiring connections. The new wiring from the existing outlet to the new outlet should be of the same gauge as the existing wire. Because the existing wire is 14 gauge, I will use a 14 gauge wire here. If the existing wire is 12 gauge wire, I will use a 12 gauge wire for the new outlet as well. The outlet I am going to use is very similar to the existing outlet. This outlet is rated for 15 amperes 125 volts. It is a Leviton Decora style outlet. In case the existing receptacles in your home are of this traditional style, you might want to use similar styled receptacle for the new outlet as well. This particular receptacle from Leviton is temper resistant. These temper resistant receptacles are very safe for residential as well as commercial installations. In ordinary receptacles, someone may insert a metal object like this in this slot and get an electric shock. But in this specific temper resistant receptacle, it is very difficult to insert any metal object here. It is safe for children as well as adults. If I try to insert a metal object like this metal wire here, it doesn't go in. The two flaps inside these two upper holes will get pressed only when a 2-pin or 3-pin plug is inserted. This safety does not exist in ordinary receptacles. I will now prepare the wires for the new receptacle, install it and then work on the existing one. About 6 to 8 inches of wire is sufficient. I am now stripping the wire. It is a 14 gauge wire so I will keep it at 14. Strip about half an inch of wire. Strip the wire on this side as well. Next, I will do the ground connection on this side. For that, I have taken two 5 inch bare copper wires and a 3 pin Vago lever nut connector. Open the lever, push the wire all the way in and then press the lever down. Pull them a bit to make sure they are connected. This wire will be connected to the ground screw inside the metal box. I will make a small loop here. This ground wire will get connected to the green screw on the outlet. For that, I will make a small loop here. The white neutral wire is connected to one of these two silver screws. Line in is connected to one of these two silver screws here. Instead of connecting them directly, I will use a pigtail here. And then I will tell you why I did that. For the pigtails, I will again take 5 inch wires and a 3 pin Vago connector. Step the wires about half an inch. 
न्यूट्रल फर्स्ट एंड दिस साइड गेट्स कनेक्टेड टू वन ऑफ द टू सिल्वर स्क्रूज हियर ब्लैक वायर फॉर लाइन इन The other side of the pigtail gets connected to one of these two brass screws. Now the reason for using pigtails here, in case I have to add another outlet in this line, I don't have to remove the screws from this receptacle. Instead, I can simply connect the new wire to these pigtails. I have deliberately used a three-pin Vago lever nut connector here and left one pin unused. The black and white wires from the new wire. will then go into these unused pins of this Vago lever nut connector this side is done i will push all the wires all the way in and tighten the screws now i will connect the ground wires on this side next i will connect the white neutral wire and the black line wire for that once again i have prepared about 5 inches of pigtails and i will use three pin vago lever nut connectors white wire coming from the line white wire going to the next receptacle and the pigtail push the wire and the connector all the way inside and this is the one that gets connected to the receptacle i will take one more vago lever nut connector for the black hot wires this is the line in this is the line going to the next receptacle and this pigtail will get connected to the brass wires on the receptacle push the connector as well as the wires inside the box now these two pigtails will be connected to the receptacle white neutral wire gets connected to one of these silver screws push the wires all the way in the box and then tighten the screws some electricians use a black tape around the screws so that there is no short circuit the connections are done now it is time to test both of these outlets for that i will turn on the power i just turned on the power and i will use my client tools receptacle tester to make sure that both of these outlets are working These two orange lights indicate that the wiring is correct and the outlet is working. The upper one is also working. Let's test the new one. The two orange lights indicate that the connections are correct. This is also working. The next thing would be to install cover plates on these receptacles. I don't think I have to explain that. This project is complete. I hope the video is informative. It is helpful. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you think that I have made any mistake, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for more similar DIY videos. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, please take care.